hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle if you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below okay in today's video I want to share with you all five my top five fragrances slash perfumes because I've realized at this point everyone calls it something different some people say perfume some people say fragrances so we'll go with both um, but you'll hear me use them interchangeably in this video so the first one I want to share with you all is by Kaoli and this is actually I don't have the full one um if you can see right here so it's by kaoli and you get two scents in this one but the one that i'm really loving right now is the vanilla 28 as you all know if you've been watching my videos for a while you know that when it comes to fragrances and when it comes to perfumes i always recommend getting a sample or like a trial size this one is more of like a roll-on, uh, which is about the same thing. I think this was like 25 bucks, and again, like I said, you get two different scents. So this vanilla one, oh, like, it smells like vanilla. It's, oh, like, I don't want to say, like, it's a little musky. It's perfection, to say the least. Like, it's literally perfection if you're into those muskier um sweeter like a sweet musk kind of scent then the vanilla vanilla 28 is a scent for you and let me just backtrack really quick to say that i am creating this video because i recently got into scents and like perfumes and fragrances and things like that um more so because of fear because the scents that I used to have in the past were just too strong for me and for some reason I just didn't realize that there are different scents out there. I think it's almost that um, PTSD kind of thing where you're like, oh, I've had such bad experiences with this like just scents and stuff like that that I don't even want to try anything else. Like I mean, I would get headaches. It was just, it was not a great experience and who wants to go through that right and then just one day I was like let me just try this out I'm seeing people mentioning fragrances and perfumes and how they smell floral and they're not too strong and how they're light and I, in my head I was like there's no way is there really a way and I'm just the type that I try things right you just want to try different things um, just because if you don't try you'll never know so I decided let me just try this out again and I was lucky I was lucky so if you're any if you're like me if you've gone through anything similar then these are scents that you may want to look into um, again start off with samples roll-ons trial sizes just so you're not spending your money well you're spending your money but so you're not spending so much money on something that you do not know if you'll like the next one I have is the Giorgio Armani my way this one you only need like two pumps two sprays um oh, it smells divine and that's another thing you don't want to do like the most when it comes to scents and i know that on everyone like on your skin it may smell different but this oh it's like i'm gonna spray it oh is all I can say it's like floral and like a woman like a like a and I know this is gonna sound crazy but like a sweet woman I almost want to look in let me just look it up and see what they describe the Giorgio Armani my way as hold on it smells so good in my room right now okay so for the my way they describe it as uh, floral which I mentioned uh, the keynotes are orange blossom tuberose and vanilla which you can almost smell it but I wasn't too sure so that's why I wanted to look it up but they describe it as this feminine fragrance combines consciously sourced ingredients from around the world in a blend of woody and floral notes 
bergamot meets Egyptian orange blossom in a sparkling start amplified by Indian tuberose and jasmine. At the base, white musk and cedarwood from Virginia combined with vanilla from Madagascar. That is just how they describe it. It may be a ton, but for me, it's more like the florally vanilla scents that you get in it. It just, uh, like, I wish you can almost smell what I'm smelling here, which is kind of tough when it comes to videos like this because you're like, what are you smelling? If you have been watching me and you almost trust the things that I say, like, it smells so good. Like, but don't use too much. Don't use too much. That's one another thing I've learned. Don't use too much because you don't want a headache. You don't want a headache. All right, I want to backtrack really quick to describe the Kaoli vanilla. And it describes it as warm and spicy. Um, that's the family. The keynotes are vanilla orchids, tonka absolute, and amber woods. For a description, captivate the senses with vanilla 28, a masterpiece of refined and cultivated nuance. A time-honored union of creamy jasmine and rich Madagascan vanilla orchid draws out the sweet softness of Brazilian tonka. Beautifully balanced oriental notes of musk, amber, amber patchouli? Oof and brown sugar from the distinguished wood base of this utterly sublime scent. So the number 28 indicates the 28 rounds of formulations it took to achieve the perfect balance of sweet and warm. Guys, like I'm on the Sephora site right now and I'm gonna buy it because to be honest, you don't usually see it, but the, I'm gonna buy the 3.4 ounce. Um, this one is $118, but because I'm here, I'm just gonna purchase it right now because I love the scent that much. And now that that's done, um, I'm gonna share the third fragrance that I really, really like. Um, and it is also by Kaoli, and it is the Kaoli Musk 12. So this one is, it's describes it as warm and spicy which uh, these scents are just uh, so good so I'm just loving the smell of my room right now so warm and spicy with the keynotes of jasmine musk and sandalwood so it's for me even though I would wear it like in the spring and summer um, it definitely would give off more fall and wintry vibes um so yeah i just wanted to put that out there and especially when you have like the musk and the sandalwood i don't know for me it just screams fall and winter so as far as the description goes it says musk 12 begins with magnificent notes of lotus flower freesia and sheer jasmine laced with exquisite musk the scent shines a light on one of the world's most mysterious ingredients. A voluptuous blend of vanilla and creamy sandalwood gives this dis distinguished fragrance an enchanting and tempered soul. Um, yeah, it just, like I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. One thing I wanna mention about this scent in particular, for me, my experience is it doesn't last as long. So what I tend to do sometimes is I'll mix it with another scent just so that um, it almost gives an undertone even though it's fading away, there's an undertone to the scent. And a combo that I really like is the musk with the My Way or sometimes I'll pair the musk with the next scent that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. The next scent is the Replica Whispers in the Library. Ugh, this, listen, listen, when I tell you, it just smells so good, so good. Again, I just do two little sprays, two little pumps of this, and it's enough. It's just such a pronounced scent, and it lasts a long time. Um, again, it's kind of stronger, so you're going to get like the must, kind of must. You like how I extended that S. Um, that musky scent. 
I'm gonna look it up for you guys just so that I'm describing it correctly I'm not great when it comes to like saying what I'm smelling um, but smells so good okay so as far as like top notes um they have the top notes as pepper essence orange flower petals for not and patchouli prisma guys i swear i'm probably saying that so wrong um the middle notes are cypriol tonka bean absolute benzoin siam resinoid i do not know what any of those things are and the base notes are vanilla absolute cedar wood and train and vetiver oof i probably butchered all of those notes but it just sounds like fabulousness to me and i know it's fabulousness because it smells so good and i'm noticing just in like reading um about the scents that i clearly gravitate to like the vanillas and the oranges and like the musk the musky kind of scents um, just in reading it I can like definitely see that about myself I will say the whispers in the library like if you're checking like a Sephora it's usually sold out so I usually try to check like the other sites like I think Amazon sells it uh, Zigo perfumery something like that sells it but I will link this down below if you love how i described it or you want to try it or you're just you've been looking for it and you've been unable to find it i will say this one you cannot get in a sample size so you will be paying full price for it but it's worth it it's worth it i think it was like a little over a hundred dollars for this bottle right here and i feel like it's a decent it's a decent size um the fifth and final fragrance that i love my top five fragrance um because out of all of them i will probably put it in the fifth place the others i didn't have a particular place but regardless it made the top five is the victor and rolf flower bomb you've probably heard of this scent um when i was trying out scents this was probably the first it was it was this or the mark jacobs but this one i was like okay all right, they're not all that bad, right? Again, warm and spicy, clearly I gravitate to that. Like if I'm gonna do a floral scent, it almost has to be floral, more like a warm floral scent. Like it has to have like the must vanillas underneath. Um, but this, they categorize it as warm and spicy. For the scent notes, it's warm and sweet. Uh, key notes, jasmine, orange, of course, cause like I said, I noticed just in reading and doing this that I gravitate more to the orange blossoms and the patchouli again I've been butchering that probably or patchouli pat cold I'm gonna go with patchouli fragrance description this floral perfume for a woman explodes with an intoxicating whirl of catlia jasmine and rose the warm scent of patchouli and vanilla grounds the fresh fragrance adding a sensual twist on the scent of reminiscence of a room filled with rose petals guys i said a whole lot of stuff but once i dropped that rose i hope you realize like what i was saying like oh, i just want to like spray this all over myself <sighs> smells divine another scent that lasts all day like i have no issue I have no issues with this scent at all. I literally wish I could just like throw the scent at you all and you could just smell what it smells like in here. It smells so good. I'm actually excited that in doing this, I was able to pick up the Vanilla 28 because this one smells, it's just so nice. So good so good and obviously when you're trying out these scents give it time because i believe it was which one was it no because the my way i loved immediately even on that paper thing which i don't recommend usually i don't recommend spraying the paper and then smelling it because you based on your hormones and your skin you just want to smell these scents on yourself but immediately after smelling this i was like yes yes thank you but I forget, maybe it was another one because I have the YSL. I have a few perfume slash fragrances 
that I needed to let settle into my skin before I went and bought it. Um, but that's another recommendation. Let it sit, um, give it some time, smell it, and then decide if it's for you or not. But yes, those are my top five scents. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I will link these in the description down below. Remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. Also remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Carla.Simon19. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,